Okay, usually I don't show this part because it isn't really important. Um, but I just want to say that for this uh, for this chapter, I have increased a little bit more of the game volume because I felt that on the last chapters it was a little bit too low. I've been messing around with the volume and that may have messed up a little bit. I do this from time to time. So yeah, I mess up with the volume and it feels because it feels that needs to be tweaked and I over tweak it and something just messes up by itself. So yeah, let's start a chapter. So for the uh, weird intro. Wait. Chapter 9, the unleashing. I'm in the jail. Ah, uh, camera, 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 no camera. No camera, okay. Missed a picture. Chapter begins and I miss a picture. Well, aside from a weird little intro, uh, first of all, welcome back. Pair of M3 to Tormented. I mean, baby jail. Can I, I? I can just leave, okay. It wasn't that bad. Well, is this the jail that I raised with Miku back on her chapter? Last chapter was a a K, a K chapter. Well, I didn't do a lot of things except to run from the Kusabi. But before that, there was a whole thing with Miku. Is this back on the, um, the prologue? It's another prologue-like section. There is no dolls. There's just a sloping tree alone in the garden and I can't check it. I don't think I'm going to be able to check anything. Do I have... I do have the camera obscura. Okay. Oh. Hello. Picture. Very polite kid. Can I... I can go this way, huh? I mean, I've been thinking a little bit about the progression of the story of the game. I waited to see if something would happen. Oh, it did, more or less. It must not be open. That priestess, the shrine. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. Okay, let me focus on this fighting thing, and then I talk. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Flash! Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So if I am in a situation where, for some reason, I can't get a fatal frame, I can just press circle, that will flash him, and that will give me at least a shutter chance. And he's dead. An image of something has been caught in the photo. I know what that is. It's the tiny door on the um, on the corridor of human shapes. In any case, I've been thinking on the story progression of how uh, this game goes, more or less. I think K, K, K's story is kind of weird, because each character kind of like have their own progression, their own reason to be on the dimension, and each of them discovered a little bit of like the effects of the story, like K kind of goes on why the, the story still is open, kind of goes on why the curse, the ritual, Ritual failed, Miku goes a little bit about the lullaby and some of the side stories that also affects the curse in a, in a major way. 
And Ray kind of goes after the priestess whole story. I can't take a picture of this. Door shut tight. In the middle of the door is an old paper doll. That's a paper doll? I thought it was a, like any human skin or something. A baby. <laughs> Someone nailed a baby on the door. It's like the seal of the door is still not broken. They nailed a baby on the door. Yeah, it's and sometimes it gets a little bit confusing on what to follow. But I think K story is pretty much done. The next chapter something I'll oh, go away. Next chapter something awful is gonna happen to him. I don't expect all the characters to survive, you know. I really don't. I know where I have to go. But I'm looking for side quests. I know where I have to go. You know, side quests, hidden pictures. Stuff like that. Reading the guides on uh, things that I missed on the previous chapters, I learned that by now I'm, I'm doing okay. I didn't miss a lot of things. I missed some pictures here and there. But, and that's about it. I'm also collecting uh, responsible resources. But in general, I'm doing okay. There may be one side quest that I started with one hidden picture that I may or may not be able to complete it uh, on this chapter, I think. If not on this chapter, on the next one. Okay, I'm gonna say that I cheated a little bit again. Because I remember when I read the guides back then. Um, I read the guide, read the wiki back then. Remember in one chapter I said there is a ghost that may or may not show up on this corridor in the very beginning of the game. Let me pause just in fear that she may show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reading the wiki, the Fatal Frame 2 wiki, it is a little bit more complicated than I remember. Let me let me find her. Let me show. Let me show her. Let me see if she saw she did. Okay, this is an optional kinda like a boss fight. I don't know what she does. What is she? Oh she's fast, okay. And she's disappeared. Yeah. The name of this ghost is the Strahler Grandma. She is an optional fight. I only have one chance of defeating her. But I only have one chance of defeating her. That means that now that she disappeared, technically she won't show up anymore. Even if I come back here as many times as I can, even if I leave the dream and come back. And she drops this key. Here. The notched arrow design key. So yeah, oh, it's not her, it's something else. Yeah, it's the mother and daughter. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to reload my save and then try to fight again. And I'm gonna be doing this until I actually win, which may or may not take a while. I did it. Okay. I did it on a second chance. I wasted all my my time, 90 film that I had. Something has been left behind where the grandma was. But yeah, as you can see, she's she doesn't get knocked back. She's very resilient because I'm technically using the second strongest film on the on the game, and I used all of it. And if she takes more than half your health, she disappears and won't come back unless it reloads. So this area is 100% optional. Anything in the vase? No, nothing in the vase.
There is something here. Let me change my film to something that I can use. Hello? I don't think I ever been here. Even when I played the game way back then, I think I died on the grammar. And then I didn't really care about restarting. I I may have no I didn't miss the ghost, never mind. The filament is still here. Stone mirror. Oh, I didn't have a stone mirror, really. Ah, okay. So this is where I wanted to go, originally. There is one film... Let me change my my film again. There is one uh, photo that I took on the last time I played with Ray. One musty photo. This may be a fight. Please help me. Help me. It's a fight, okay. One musty old photo that I took of the survivor. I'm gonna need you to lunge at me, lady. Don't make this difficult. Shades. Hold on, let me focus on the fight. If I talk and... Yeah, this is gonna be... bothersome. Lunge at me. Please, lunge! It didn't take long. It didn't take long. A small piece of paper has fallen where the violent ghost of Yoshino Takigawa was. A photo showing Yoshino Takigawa while she was alive, with a man who looks like her boyfriend. She must have been clutching it tight. The photo is marked with creases and wrinkles. I have found a part of the camera obscura. Acquired Equipment Function Measure Function displays a ghost HP. With this equipped, the remaining HP of the closest ghost is shown in the top left of the viewfinder. While the ghost is in a capture circle, the HP of the closest ghost is displayed. Nice. Yoshino Takigawa. Okay, let me read this. The only survivor of the plane crash, the photo she left shows her with a man who seems to be her boyfriend. The photo is creased where she was clutched tight. In another photo, I caught a glimpse of him lurking in the shadows around her. Surrounded by her boyfriend and family, she is trapped in her dreams, tortured by her feelings of guilt about what happens. Guilty of the sin of having survived. It was not like she, it was her fault, but... It's awful anyway. In case, this ghost only shows if I took that picture on the last time I played as Ray. And I can only fight the ghost if I successfully defeat the grammar. So the grammar is part of the side quest, that's the side quest, that's the side detour, next part is gonna be the main chapter. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Still singing. I don't think this is Yoshino singing. I'm, I'm back here because while I was picking through the other side, I learned that this screen is open now. So something different may happen. Let me just check the dolly. She's content. And then I'm gonna go inside the screen. Give me a sec. I got exploding a billion pieces. There is nothing inside the bedding but a black human shaped stain. On top of the stain is a book. Calico notebook. The pain etched into the priestess must have been very deep. The spread of the rift continues. We may not be able to stop it, even with the shrine of sleep. My body has been halfway engulfed by the rift, and misery surrounds me. It's not clear how many days have passed since the unleashing. The only ones left are the young handmaidens. I feel pity in doing so, but I will instruct Hizame to conduct the final impalement. We must not allow the rifts to spread. 
Now that I recall, there was an echo stone hearing earring in that man's ear. It could have been Kyoka's forbidden child. Perhaps he came back from the village down below. If so, then he would be Amane's older brother. How sorrowful. So yeah, it was in like... Oh, Phil, nice. It was in like the first few games, but like some forbidden love brewed between the priest's hearts for because of some reason. It was a child. And this is another fight, great. Give me one sec while I do this. Oh, I can see the, heart, the health points, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to fight the evil nun. Can you stop doing that? It's very disorienting. There we go. A little bit of a missed shot, but it's fine. Man, Miku's double makes a lot of difference on killing her. One thing I've been gathering, and now that I'm using the wiki to piece, it, to piece some things together, um, it feels like, unlike the first and the second game, where, oh, we're gonna do the ritual, the ritual fails, and bam, all hell breaks loose, ghosts are everywhere, we're gonna die. In this game, it feels like it actually had some time. Like the ritual fails, like just on that diary, like the diary was written after the ritual failed. Oh, this is open now. Can I go in? Something inside. Film, nice. Well, that was nice, okay. But yeah, he ha the ritual failed and then they had some time to contain the main event, the unleashing as the game calls it on this part. So maybe the reason why the curse is happening now isn't because it's more like it is a stronger curse in comparison to the first two games. Like a very strong curse. It isn't confined to a single house or a single village spirited away in Arnia. It just affects the human spirit whenever they are. And the seal that makes the curse uh, stay where it is is weakening. By the way, the mother and daughter girls are super aggressive in this chapter. It's kind of, kind of annoying. Oh. Ow! I took too long. Maybe. How can I finally get a an ending to this? On part of the wall there is a mark that looks like a field scene. Part of the of, of the cock of the cock film in the scene is peeled away. Looks like you may be able to open it. Open it. Thank you. And the man with a machete is dead. There is no response. Good. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me don't attack me. I'll come out swinging. Don't chase, we'll run. Ooh! A bell fell. Is it mine now? Can I take it? It doesn't exist. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, the bell doesn't exist. There is still one key, there is, I mean, there's a few doors I haven't gone through yet. There is one door 
past the uh, kimono room where the brushing ghost is. There is one door. There is this door. And I think that's it, really. Now there is another door past the uh, the tiny uh, the paper doll room on the right of this garden. Hi. It must not be spread. The unleashing cannot be allowed to continue. Oh god damn it. You're so annoying man. Hopefully, you're done. Left something for me? No. Yeah, this ghost, I thought he was the, uh, the family head, but no. The family head is the lady. Remember that men are not allowed in the mansion. So everyone who's been here it's more or less female. The only one, only men allowed on the on the mansion are the carpenters. So I, this guy I believe is the head carpenter of the mansion. Like this is the head carpenter. The other guy is with a white robe, sometimes holding a stake. Are like minor carpenters, and the carpenters with uh, blue ink on their body are pillars for the mansion. And I'm only seeing them once. Let me save the game. The paper doll shaped wards on the door has disappeared. Is that a dream? Am I allowed forward? Oh, it back, back to this. Oh, spin. Okay. I can't. Oh, Shrine Maidens. Over there. Oh, she's gone. Hmm. Is this Shrine? Oh. Oh, I'm awake. The Dream Mansion. One secondly. Beyond the door the shrine carpenter has boarded up was the small shrine I saw in my dream. Without door sealed the shrine. Is that where the ceremony was carried out? Could it really be like my vision, a place to meet the dead? Is you really in there somewhere? Okay, 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 okay. Answer the phone. Answer the goddamn phone! Ray! Hello? Yes, Kurosawa speaking. Miko? Is that Miku? Oh. Hello? Uh, this is Amakura. Ah. Oh, he's still going on though. Did you have that dream again today? Yes. I see. I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. Just what happened in that manor? Books described as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come on, come to light. Yes, well... Have to touch grass, Ray, at some point. And ghost hunting, yeah. Save the game again. <clears throat> Is 
there may have been something that I missed. Um, may have been something that I missed if I checked the mention before answering the phone. Well, well, canon is canon. If I missed it, I missed it. But I don't think that is... Is Miko okay? She is. Miko... Ray? Here. Here you go, Ray. Could this be the identity of that little girl? Which one I forgot? People go missing in Minakami. By last month, two people had gone missing in the Minakami Dam area. Now yet another case had been reported. Ah, okay, 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 the twins. The police have been called in the missing people are Tokyo resident Shizu Amakura and her eldest daughter Mayu. Shizu Amakura. On summer vacation, Mayu visited the village near the dam with her sister Miyu. The two went missing one week earlier. But recently, Miyu was found alone, collapsed in the middle of the forest. Miyu was taken to the hospital. And though there was nothing wrong with her physically, due to extreme fatigue, she is not in a condition to talk. The police are waiting for her to recover before questioning her. I think that's the surveyor lady. Maybe. It was published two months ago, but her name is Amakura. Oh no, I mean, stupid. Go Shibi case. Thanks, I'll hold on to it for a bit. Say she just disappeared. Ske must be really worried. I thought this festival was similar to that ceremony-like photo with the twins. Some of the villages in the mountain region practice a folk religion right that deifies twins born in the village as priestess. It is called the twin ceremony, where twins born in the village reach a certain age, most commonly 15 years. They are dressed in white. Then as priestess, they are joined by a red cord and conduct a seance. This red cord is said to represent the twins as one person, and in the region it is custom to believe that when the twins become one, they have the power of the gods. This rite is supposed to protect the village from calamity, and it is also supposed to bless them with a bountiful harvest, as always. It's always for the corn! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I blanked out for a second. You blanked out? I'm so tired. For some reason, I feel so cold. I'm gonna go to Yu's room first. See if I can find any documents, and then I go ghost searching. Unless there's a ghost here. No? Okay. There is a notebook that says the manner of sleep in the drawer. Perhaps it could be useful for something. 10 pages, nice. The Man of Sleep, Urban Legend. The Man of Sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it, and it progresses like a sickness, having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers of family. Dreaming of the manor. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers they dearly departed. Proceeding deeper into the manor, patients follow the dead deeper into the manor. Most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a masked funeral march, or being pursued by a tattoo woman. Hallucinations while awake. At this stage, the patient complains of abnormalities of the body, body while, while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a growing blue bruise or snake-like tattoo. Decreasing waking hours. At this stage, the patient's response to external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleeping also slowly increases. From a medical viewpoint, this is a defensive mechanism to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. Missing or vanishing. Then one to two months after the first stage, the patient goes missing. Missing is the official term. 
It is said the patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black suit like Mark. The above mention is the original The Manner of Sleep Urban Legends, but the popular legend is more story-like and includes the following elements. Strong feelings of the dead summons the first nightmare. Strong feelings for the dead summons the first nightmare. Once you follow the disease in the dream, you can no longer return. If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friends, it will beckon that person into the sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads trustlessly. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead, and if you make it, you can meet the disease there. It's kind of is like the waking dream kind of urban legends. There is one, a few Japanese urban legends about uh, waking dreams, where you go around and talk with ghosts, or you just change planes of existence with the ones of your dreams. Or stuff like that. Kind of weird. If you pursue the dead, you will not be able to return it. Skip text. Even if I knew that, I... Nothing else? Nothing else. This side? No. Nope. Bookshelf? No. Nope. Okay. Oh. Hey, Miku. So there is no ghost in the living room. Miku. Seems like she's having another bad dream. But she slept on the, on the couch. Oh. Oh. I can see my face reflected in the mirror above the wash basin. Basin. Oh, 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 oh. Picture. Okay. I got that one. That was nice. Okay, no creepy hands. Not anything else, just a ghost in the mirror. Which is fine. I think the next chapter is going to be another Miku one. Not really sure. The chapters are getting shorter. Like, I got a lot of long chapters, and now I got a bunch of shorter ones. Let me just check the closet one last time. Okay. <clears throat> I think I spoke a lot of my thoughts during the game. I started searching the wiki because in the last few chapters I didn't get a lot of answers. If anything, I started getting more and more lost to the story. So I kind of had to understand what was going on. But yeah, I, I'm, it is kind of a mix of my own findings of a... Like, this is in a love story, like the first ones where uh, the curse, the... The ritual was interrupted because of uh, the priestess got in contact with a boy from somewhere else and they fell in love or they start feeling resentment. It was more like the priestess child kind of like wanted to see his mom and he did something that he wasn't supposed to do and unfortunately a lot of things happened. I'm gonna say because on the whole thing, she's supposed to sleep while she carries the uh, the pain of the, the village and the departed back to the other world. So I think her, the priestess son, I still don't... I, I think I have her name, I just don't remember the name. Woke her up. And then um, the unleashing happens. The unleashing happens in a lot slower than the calamity or the... Um, the repent repentance? Is that how it calls in the second game? I forgot. Because in the other ones it was instant. And this one is a lot slower. They had enough time to proceed with the ritual. Where um I think the second part of the ritual in case of the unleashing is to ask the shrine maiden children to nail the the chosen maiden. I'll call her that because I don't want to call her a sacrifice. On the shrine under the mansion. And then have the carpenters uh, made, make themselves into sacrificial pillars. So that they aid in the construction of the dream manor. Which will keep the main maiden in check. 
but I think that wasn't strong enough. And now the curse is seeping a little bit, the seal is weakening and things are going bad. Yeah, then that may be. According to the wiki at least, to what I understood of the wiki, I think that's it. And going down, continuing with the game, I'm gonna have to face her and put her to sleep, for real. Or take her place. Something's gonna happen. In any case, that's gonna be it for this part. Nothing else to add. Yeah. See you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.